We're gonna start here with talking about evaluating the eating environment that your child is in when they eat, just like on average. So take an inventory of where they normally sit. This whole video is your homework, so I'm not gonna like repeat everything at the end like I've been doing normally for homework. So where does your child normally eat? Take a moment to picture in your mind, or if you're looking at it right now, great. So even better, go pause this video, go to their seat. If you can fit in it, it's not a tiny high chair. Sit in it, take in the environment, evaluate. We're looking for comfort and distractions here. What do they sit on or in? Is this a place, a safe and comfortable seat where a child feels physically supported when they eat? Is it comfortable? Pay attention to the ambient environment. Is the lighting good? Is it too much? Is there like sun glaring in from a window? Because I noticed this once for my kids at breakfast. I kept opening all the windows in the morning. I was like glaring in my daughter's eyes and that's uncomfortable while she's eating. Is there anything really smelly nearby, especially for kids who are sensory sensitive? So like if you have candles going near the table, maybe we need to adjust that. Are they right under a chilly air vent? Is the seat, okay, this is especially important here, high or low enough for their height? Are they like sitting at the table and their chin is like this? Or are they in a high chair and they've grown and their tray is now like, way below their belly button. Is the table or chair like stable or wobbly? Are they supported? This is huge. Your child should not be like leaning back like this in their high chair. Okay, they shouldn't have to be leaning forward to reach the table. Can their feet comfortably reach a footrest? So imagine having to eat on a chairlift without any foot support and you're just like dangling in midair. You'd probably feel a little unsteady and if your child is sitting for long periods of time at the table and their feet are dangling, they might feel a little unsteady too. So consider a proper foot support to help here. Now, I just kind of want to take a pause because foot rests on high chairs and adjustable foot rests are like all the rage, especially in baby feeding accounts. Everyone's saying like, your child's feet need to be supported at the table in order for them to be comfortable with high chair. Okay, this makes sense in theory, like what I've said, but there is no scientific studies looking at foot support during eating and otherwise healthy kids. So it's common practice among experienced professionals to implement this, but you know, if your kid eats well and they're not having a foot rest, like you don't need to change what's not broken. But if you notice that your child isn't sitting for a long time in the high chair, a foot rest is totally worth trying out. So think about, is their back supported without them, again, having to lean backwards, okay? So you may need to fold up a towel or like a dish towel. I had to do that when my son was just starting solid around six months old. I would fold up a t dish towel and put it behind him in the high chair because otherwise he was kind of like leaning back like this. And that's not a comfortable way to eat. So can, again, can they reach the table or their plate or their tray without having to lean forward? So there's kind of our comfort discussion. So is the table free of distraction? This is a big one. I think you all know the first point I'm gonna get to here, and that is technology. So tech at the table can be super distracting. This includes TV, like just they're watching, or even just in the background, phones, tablets, computers, video games. Just like with other parts of this course, I highly encourage you to model this for your kids. It's gonna be really hard for your kids to understand why tech is not allowed at the table if mom and dad are on their phones or work computers at the dinner table too. So I know this is tough for some, but I promise you will see the benefits if you try. Another big distraction can be dogs or other pets. Although the number one best cleanup equipment available for messy dinner times is a dog, it is very tempting for kids to hand their food over to their adorable and fluffy pups. So I suggest using a baby gate to keep your dogs in another room. Maybe your dogs are so well trained that they lay in their beds or go outside once your butt hits a dining room chair. And if this is you, that's wonderful, but at my house, we have to use a baby gate because my dogs would not stay away from the table and my kids totally feed them if we leave them up here. Um, so music, it's a great thing to keep on in the background during meals. Just keep the volume low enough or comfortable for comfortable dinner time conversations. Um, so I just want to touch on this technology piece really quick because I get a lot of people asking like, is it okay to 
have iPads at the table. That's the only way that my kid will sit and eat. So my answer to this is I recommend avoiding technology at the table. And yes, that includes iPads. If iPads are the only way that your kids will sit and eat, then we need to dig into why they struggle so much at the table. This doesn't mean that you need to quit the iPad cold turkey, but I do recommend slowly weaning off the iPad because we do know that distracted eating um, leads to an overconsumption of food. So your kiddo is not paying attention to their hunger and fullness cues. And our kids are learning so much at the table from our own social cues, from the discussions that we're having, and they're deprived of that experience if they're on the iPad. So does that mean that I like never serve my kid dinner in front of the TV? No, but it is a rarity. Usually I avoid tech at the table. So a quick summary here. I'd like you to evaluate your child's eating environment looking for comfort and distractions. Do your best to eliminate anything making the environment uncomfortable or a distraction. And if, if these things exist in your eating environment, you may be surprised at the difference it makes when you remove them. Mm -hmm.